everyone and welcome to my channel. So the last two weeks we have been working on this pavilion, the body of it and the roof of it and I have so so many ideas for this one. I want some lights in there, I want some greenery in there and uh, I have a few more ideas but today we are going to make a birdhouse for it this little one here from a teapot and a tea um, cup and um, I actually think it's very very cute that was a friend of mine that said uh, try make that and uh, I did that and it's perfect here on the side of the house now I just need a bird for it um, I will maybe make one myself or maybe get one let's see what's happening but here is the pavilion and uh, let's get to the birdhouse today and then I will have a short break from the pavilion doing a few different things and then we will come back to this one so let's get to it please subscribe like and ring the bell button I found a 3d print file for the teapot online there is several different uh, versions of that one so I'm not gonna make my own here and then I made this little lid for the teapot with a hole in for the birds to be able to come in and out. I made that in Fusion 360. And I made the little teapot and the little plate for the teapot. Here I am gluing on this little lead lid for the teapot with my super glue gel. And I'm also going to glue the teapot onto the plate. I don't really know what I'm doing here, but I'm trying to make this uh, birdhouse you see right here. And there is a tiny hole for the sprout of the tea can where I think water can run out or stuff like that. And I'm trying to measure where to put that and where to put the back side of uh, the house here. So I'm just trying to measure out and it was actually kind of difficult but I came up with around uh, three and a half centimeters for this little piece here I am using my easy cutter to cut this piece off and then I am going to sand it a tiny bit before I use my Dremel to make the hole here and I'm actually making the hole a little too small so make the hole so it fits to the thing you are doing here if you want to do this and in this picture here you can actually see the hole where the spout is going down into and I actually should have had the curved thing underneath everything but I don't have that so well, you can maybe do it better than I can. Now I am trying to figure out where the roof for this teapot bird house is going to be. So I'm just placing the little teapot and marking my wood piece. And this one is around three and a half centimeters long. And the other one here is three and a half centimeters long as well. And I'm just going to make a, I think it was a 45 angle um, on this little stick here, cutting that off and making sure I have the room for the teapot under there and then the other side. So I get this little pointy thing on the top of this little um, icicle stick and of course sanding it. Then I glued these two parts together and I actually made a roof on top here from the small icicle sticks here but that is too small so I just left that out and I'm gonna do that later with some bigger ones. I used some light turquoise, some white and some light blue paint here and mixed that together in a uniform color 
and I am placing the teapot and the little cup on this double-sided tape that I have on a, one of the wider icicles here and I'm just gonna paint everything with this color I am even going to paint the two sticks we glued together just before um, just make sure that the glue is all dry before you're gonna uh, paint this little thing here Now for the right uh, roof for this little thing, I took some big popsicles here and I cut off two centimeters in both ends and I'm going to use these ends with this little nice curve on them. And now I am sanding the two pieces here into an angle and gluing that together with the um, thing that we made earlier here just placing a little glue everywhere and then making this thing to a little roof on to the birdhouse um, let that dry all completely through because um, you don't want it to break apart when you are working with it uh, this is all dry now and I am just gonna paint it the same color as everything else I have these nail art decal uh, pictures here, placing a few of them into the water and I am going to place these all over the little teapot and the little teacup. So just take your time and fill it up. I actually use all of these small pictures for this little teapot. Don't forget the teacup. With a tiny bit of black paint, I am making these lines so they, uh, so this little uh, cap in front of the teapot looks a bit like it's small wooden pieces sitting there. Then I am using a tiny bit of silver ink to paint the edges here on the cup and on the teapot and I made a little kind of decoration around the handles as well oh and the little uh, plate for the teacup as well I also painted a tiny bit of a toothpick silver colored because I want to place that here on the top of the roof to make the roof a little more neat to look at. So I'm just going to cut that off in the length and glue it onto the little house. Then I glazed the teacup and the teapot so they are nice and shiny. Just use a little Fimo glaze here. The little teacup is designed for putting in some bird seeds. So I had this gravel here and found some pretty itsy bitsy tiny weeny rocks that uh, kind of looked as some grains. So I just got that out. I mixed this gravel with a tiny bit of glue and I popped that into the cup so that looks kind of like some grains for the birds. Actually the real thing that's the lid of the teapot that is used for this part um, but I first noticed that after I was done with this so I'm using the cup and I actually think this turned out pretty cute anyway. 
Now all there is left to do is putting these three things together. So I'm just using my super glue gel here to glue in the little teapot in the little house. And my house was almost too small so I had to force it in there. But it's actually sitting really really good in there. Then I'm just gluing on the little teapot here. That is a teacup not a pot. The little teapot out here. And there it is, all done. Now I just need to glue it on the side of my pavilion. Here it is. I think this one went quite well. I'm happy that you made it this far. So thank you for watching and happy crafting. Okay, bye.